All right, what's up, guys? Um, before we start adding more models and controllers, let's clean up our app first. So if you start writing, or if you create a post currently, let's say new post, and then some cool content, and if you publish it, you're gonna get direct uh, directed to the home page, and you can see the username and the post. So let's take a look at the code. So let's go to Homes Controller. And it's getting all the posts. And if you look at the views, it's rendering posts. And if you look at the post partial, it's just displaying username and title. All right, so what I want to do in this um, screencast is to add um, the avatar image for each post and then just center these content in our page and I want to clean up this header as well so let's do some styling for that okay so let's let's edit this post dot uh, underscore post dot html dot erb partial so I'm going to wrap this in a div and I'll add class uh, post panel and I'm going to add avatar for helper that we created in the last video post user and then I'll add size 40. Let's take a look at that helper. So it's going to take the size option and it's going to default to 80, but I'm going to display a little bit smaller than that. So I'll specify the size 40. And then let's take a look at in our browser. Refresh the page and you can see the avatar image displayed on the page. Great. So because we're using Bootstrap, we can use uh, bootstrap uh, grid system. So let's open up at views post. Uh, no, that's not um, homes show.html.erb. And then we're going to center this. I want this to be. class call MD uh, let's do six and then I'll offset that by one let's see in our browser that looks good all right so I'm gonna add container class to our view so let's go to App views layouts application.html.erb and then I'm gonna wrap this yield with a div and I'm gonna add class of container. These are just bootstrap classes, so all right, let's refresh. Cool. Alright, it looks good. And I'm going to create another story. Uh, let's do another post. Hello world. Cool. So next I want to add, um, wrap this title with like H3 tag. So let's do that now. Go back to post partial and then I'm going to wrap this with uh, H3. Let's see in our browser. Looks good. All right. Cool. So now let's add some CSS. So I created this um, app assets, style sheets, and modules. And if you look at that, we have avatar.scss and buttons.scss. So I'll create at asset style sheet modules underscore um, 
post uh, panel dot scss and then I'll before I forget I'll add that to application dot scss so under module import modules um, post panel All right, so let's do border from pixel solid. I'll add EF, 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 and I'll padding. Let's add 1M. All right, let's see in our browser. Looks good. I'll add margin bottom. Of let's add like 1.5 m. Looks good. Um, let's add some styles to the header. So let's go back to our text editor and then just delete these tabs and then I'll open up app views layouts header.html.erb and let's inspect that in our browser okay so this is getting the padding all right so let's let's add padding zero to this one Okay, that looks good, that looks better. And I'll just add some margin around these LIs. All right, I mean, this is not the best way to do it, but I think it's the easiest way to do it for now so that our header looks decent. So let's add margin top of like five pixel. Oh, that's not right maybe like eight eight looks good and for the button all right and then margin right okay that looks okay all right so let's do let's add those to our header so first we have to add some class so that we can select in our scss file so let's add um this one add new story button and for this current user avatar all right so let's create another partial app assets style sheets modules header dot scss and let's add that to our application dot scss Okay, so let's do, all right, I'm gonna open up the file here. Oops. Header.scss. All right, so let's add new story button and current user avatar uh, margin top eight pixels and new story button 
margin right. Uh, let's add a pixel and current user avatar a padding zero. All right, let's refresh the page. Oops, it's not. All right, so this is not getting applied. Let's double check if we do padding zero. It looks decent. So probably I have a typo there. Current user avatar. Probably it's getting it's not a good idea to add a bunch of important, but when we working with bootstrap and if you want to overwrite their style, sometimes you can use important flag. Alright, that's good. Um, I think that's it for this screencast and let's move on to our next next task. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.